So Mark, what do you think of yes. our Bengaluru style this, egg fried rice? This is phenomenal. Huh? It's just so tasty. So I've got a double egg now. Okay. A, a double egg Manchurian. Mm. That is good, right? <laughs> Is that a dosa song? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to tuck oh. into the Avre Bele Dose? I cannot wait. This is something truly magnificent, magical. Hot and fresh off the griddle. Hot and fresh off the griddle. Look and at that texture. You can see the light. You can see through it. Yes, it reveals everything that's there within it. Namaskara Bengaluru, hope you're doing well. We are here with a very special guest, the one and only Mark Weens. Thank you, Kripal. Namaskara Mark. Namaskaram. And, and welcome to Bengaluru. Thank you very much. Uh, so it, happy to be here. It's such an honor and such a privilege to have the opportunity to host you in our wonderful city. Thank you, thank uh, you. Well, we all know about food vlogging today, about YouTube, etc. But Mark was the person who bought the concept in a manner of speaking of food Thank storytelling you. to YouTube, what, 15 years Thank ago? Thank you. Yeah, almost 15 years ago. 15 I think it's 2009 ago. about, yes. Fantastic. So it was yes, a very different world back then. Totally different, yes. It used to be uh, more simple, um, but I think uh, the rise of many food creators and food social media has really enlivened the scene of food and given people inspiration about food and us being able to connect like this is something that's really special you know, through social media. Connecting, I opened my email a few days ago and I saw an email which said from Mark Weens. I almost jumped off my chair and I said <laughs> somebody's pulling a fast one on me. Nonetheless I opened that and I was overjoyed to find this email from Mark himself. <laughs> thank you, thank uh, you. How many countries have you done so far? I think about a hundred or so. hundred countries exploring food and the one thing that really struck me about Mark was when I asked him, I said, surely, you know, I'd be happy to take you around Bengaluru. What did you have in mind? So I was expecting him to respond back by saying, okay, I want to try idli, I want to try dosa, I want to try this. But he was as specific as saying, I want to try this particular shop for the egg rice. I want to try this place for the biryani. And thanks to you for all the content you've created in this area of India and Karnataka. Uh, for, I mean, all the research and for the inspiration on places to go as well. No, but thank you very much. And, you know, to me, that brings a very important point, the research that goes into this, right? Mm, yes, I definitely. I think most people definitely. only look at the food storytelling. They mm -hmm. don't look at the research, the effort that goes behind the scenes. Yeah, definitely. And, definitely. and that long me email of yours was uh, representative of that. But nonetheless, I'm yes. so happy to have you here with us in Bengaluru. And over the next three days, we're going to be traveling with Mark across the length and breadth of the city, exploring the myriad flavors that this city has to offer. From Tiffin Thindi to Biryanis and everything in between. There's a yes. lot that we're going to be tasting with Mark and we hope yes. to present to you in the course of these few episodes. Thank you. I can't wait yes. to start eating. To start eating. Yes. Are you excited? Very, very. Fantastic. Yeah. So the place that we're making the beginning with today is Uncle Egg Rice here in Banushankari. What appealed to you about Uncle Egg Rice? I mean, just the fact that you can take something simple, like an egg, huh. and I mean, just from watching your video, huh. I've seen the way he transforms it and just overloads it with flavor. Huh. So I can't wait to experience it for myself for the first time. Fantastic. So let's begin this tasting through Mark Queen's palate. Thank you. He used to be a, a street food star. That's right. So when we covered him uh, a couple of years ago, he had a little cart. In fact, this is the cart. He was operating with this. Oh, nice. And okay. uh, since then, he's come from there to this. And he's expanded into a small little shop. Into a small little shop here. And when we arrived here, you could just smell the aroma of what he's cooking. That's right. My mouth is watering. So this is Mr. Nanjunda, Yuru, Mr. Mark Very Means. nice to meet you. Hello. World Namaskar. early Yuru number one food YouTuber. Yuru Nimdu, egg rice mate, actually the church is So that you want to Nimdu making tourist Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. amazing. Amazing. And if you could see at this stall, Kripal is there. Uncle Egg Rice. 
salt goes yeah, in, pepper. That's black a pepper, pepper goes in. Pepper. Masala. So this is a spice blend. Coriander powder. Coriander powder. powder. Turmeric powder. Turmeric powder goes in. Chili powder. Some yeah. coriander. Yes. So he gets his soy sauce from Kolkata. There's a concept called Tangra Chinese that originated in Calcutta yes. because a lot of the Chinese first came to India. Ah, they bought okay. to India by the British into Calcutta. So there's a soy sauce production in Calcutta. That's right. Okay. Which is made by the Chinese. Ah, the Indian cool. Chinese, of course. Very cool. So what you didn't see at the bottom also, oh, before the yes. eggs, there's capsicum there yes. and also some green chilies that I've got okay, in. Okay, great. Along with some onions too. Great. Onion could I tell you? Onion. Onion. Ah. The secret sauce, the yeah. secret gravy is going to go in. This is a gravy that has uh, tomato as its base, has some right. cashew. There's also some eggs that he cooks in that. Nice, in that gravy. In that gravy. I okay. used to work in an eatery somewhere ah. and one fine day they asked him to go home. So he said, why do I have to subject myself to somebody else? Why don't I do something of my own? And cool. that's when he began on that little gadi. So he's an entrepreneur as well. You want to support him because of his efforts, because of his entrepreneurship, because of his food. That instant egg curry. Okay, now we're going to move over for the dish that you have to eat the curry with, the fried rice. So this is the oil. This is the garlic paste. Okay. Yes, his famous capsicum slicing. Yeah. Yes. That's a pro move, you know. That's Mark. a pro move. Huh? I have never seen capsicum bell pepper sliced up like that. So what he's now trying to do is he's trying to get the flavor of the onion, the garlic, and the capsicum into the oil. And that is then going to permeate the rice. Oh, Some mint that goes into it. Fantastic. Oh, that aroma is coming out. The onions, the bell peppers. Also, if you notice, he's also using the tender stock of the mint as well. Oh, yes. From a flavor perspective, right? That's amazing. So it's not just the leaf, but also the tender stock of the mint. Ah, some salt. Okay. So everybody in this area used to call him uncle. So okay. Were... <laughs> yes. He's saying after the video has become famous, but he's famous even before my video. I think it's because of his personality. Everybody yes. likes to talk to him. Now the aroma of that mint is coming out in that oil. Yeah. Tempering it down. The mint, the onions, the bell peppers. Garam masala. Garam masala, okay. Yeah. Coriander powder and some turmeric. The red chili powder. Okay. Right. 30. 30 eggs. 30 eggs. 30 eggs, 30 eggs go in. You are the world famous actor. 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 You are the world famous You know, but the manner in which they cook it, now you will see it when the rice goes in. So even this is almost like a curry that he has made. Yes. And yeah, now definitely. when the rice goes in, you will not find chunks of eggs, but every grain of rice ah. is coated with that egg masala. What a move. It's almost like a scrambled egg curry at the moment. That's right. This is the kolam rice. It's okay. also a rice. If you notice, it's a rice that's a little fluffy yes. in its uh, texture. And that fluffiness of this rice allows for all of that to get soaked up. Wow. But salt goes in. Oh, the black pepper, yes. Chili powder. Some greens and the famous Kolkata Chinese Kolkata soy sauce. Soy sauce.
Can you smell the aroma? Yes. That's it. Nanjunda Uncle yes. egg rice. Uncle. <laughs> that was impressive. It's yeah. overflowing. The amount of rice he has, it's overflowing yeah. over the wok. I wasn't sure how he was going to be able to stir that, but he did the impossible. It's a, it's a skill set, right? Yes, so once he truly covers is. the pot with the rice, then he just slowly scoops it out from the bottom. Flipping it up at yeah. the same time and then like revolving the, the pan yeah. at the same time. Getting a bit of the masala out That's with every turn of his ladle. Skills. That skill sets over 21 years. Yes, incredible. And you can see that every individual grain is coated perfectly yes. in that masala scrambled eggs. Okay, we know now why you're, you are the uncle of eggs. The uncle of all eggs. <laughs> Thank you. Rice first? The rice first, okay. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so tasty. It's so light and fluffy. It is. You feel the egg coating every grain of rice. That's right. With the masala kick in the background. You know, what's interesting here is that you're biting into the rice, but the texture is that of the egg. Yes, uh -huh. yes. It has that, that scrambled egg yeah. texture to it. And just the round, right amount of masalas Masala. and seasonings and soy sauce. Mm. Oh, that's an addictive fried rice on its own, but we have egg curry paired with it. Like, I mean, you would be happy just with this fried rice. It is. Yeah. Know, that's another reason. So most people, when they come here, they will have only the egg rice. Having the egg curry is a bit of a indulgence. You guys should have half plate again. Yeah, forty sir. For forty rupees, you'll get the rice, you get the eggs, you get the capsicum. So it's like a full meal with Excellent. some onions. Excellent. So that's the reason why it's a very popular meal. So it's got the carbohydrate, it's got the protein, it's got the veggies, and it's so tasty. It's got loads of flavor. Loads of flavor. Yes. Now let's draw let's in a bit of the egg. The egg curry. Look at that thick sauce. There's just masala in everything. The spices, the blend of spices. Mm. Mm. Oh, the creaminess of the hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. Oh, that added richness and protein and the textures. You know, also what you notice is when you have the egg rice just by itself, the masala was subtle, mm -hmm. but you could still taste it. Now the masala is very rounded because of the creaminess yes. of the egg yolk that comes into play. Yes, the egg whites have remained solid. Yeah. But the yolk, because it's crumbly, yeah. it's disintegrated into the gravy. So it's like all... making it extra rich and giving us so much body. That's right. Body and texture. Yeah. Oh, oh what a combination. Kushi hai to you, The egg on top of egg. Thank you. It's amazing. There's a reason why you have everything on your plate. Now, let's say if you feel that the spice has gotten to you, just bite into a bit of the capsicum. Yes. <laughs> I love how to tame down the flavor That's of right. chili, you bite into a chili. A different sort of chili, right? It also <laughs> helps cleanse your palate a bit. Another thing I have to say, huh. I have to mention is that he's seasoned everything perfectly. Yeah. So Mark, what do you think of yes. our Bengaluru style this, egg fried rice? This is phenomenal. Huh? It's just so tasty. I mean, in reality, it's taking humble ingredients, but elevating them to a fine dining level. This is, this is fine dining. And I think where uncle does very well, he knows the palate of his customers. Yeah. So also the other thing that he will also do is he will season it according to your, so if you say I wanted twice chili, he will make sure that he makes it spicy. Nice. That being said, it has a nice kick to it already. Like mm. it's very pleasant, such incredible flavor. Mm. Also reach for the onion every once very in a happy. while. Very happy. Oh yeah, the capsicum. Yeah, the capsicum, the onion. It's got a nice refreshing crunch. Oh, mm. that is delicious. That's a new perspective on fried rice. On fried rice. I mean, this is truly the ultimate in a fusion of Indian, Chinese, Bengaluru. Yeah. I was thinking we should save space. We should save space. But it's so tasty, I can't stop. Now, you can actually feel the spice linger on your tongue. A bit of the pepper spice. Yeah. yeah. Not so much the green chili spice, but there's a fair bit of pepper that goes into it. 
Yeah, it's like that slight burn in the back of your throat. Yeah. yeah. And also the sort that uh, prickles your tongue. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. So when Mark reached out to us and he said he wanted to do a few things, he said, I definitely want to do Uncle Fried Rice. Yes, without a doubt. So I was like, how did you pick this? He said, no, I've seen how he cooks it and I just love the way he does it. And I think also his personality really shines. He's so friendly. He just looks happy doing yeah. what he loves to do. I think that's something that stands out. So did it live up to what you... It exceeded my expectations. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's absolutely sensational. Super. So tasty. On to the next spot now. Egg Manchurian. That is good. Is it good? Very good. Have you ever had a Manchurian outside India? No. <laughs> So I've got a double egg now. Okay. A, a double egg Manchurian. Mm. That is good, right? Next up on this tour, this food tour in Bengaluru, we are at the famous Vivipuram Street. I've heard a lot about this street. It's one of the main food streets. It's kind of a walking street filled with street food of all kinds you can imagine, dedicated to vegetarian food. Mark, this is Vivipuram Food wow. Street. Oh, I love it already. So it's also called Thingdi Bidi. Thingdi Bidi basically in Kannada means Food street, a street oh, okay. where there's only food. What is that, by the way? It looks like a giant block huh? of cheese. Oh, it's a Big root. You want to try it? Yes. It looks like a stump of a tree. So by the way, I must also introduce you to Swati oh, okay. here. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. So Swati's family runs Sri Vasavi oh, Condiments. And we're here at the same time. Yeah, okay, out cool. here. So basically they do all sorts of condiments, all, all right. sorts of interesting food, savory, okay. sweet meats. And it is at her stall that we're going to try the Avrebele delicacies. Nice. We noticed this giant stump with a yellow bottom. Yeah, it's a root. It's a root. It's okay. a root. Okay. It's so cool the way he serves it. He slices it paper thin from the top. When you order it, he wipes a lime on it and sprinkles it with salt. You want to go for it? Let's try this. Something unique. I think I want a bigger, bigger chunk. Oh, all right. Cheers. 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 Mmm, it's refreshing. It's almost a bit ginger-like. Some mango. Yeah. Almost tastes like a cross between a jicama mm. and a green apple. Yeah. Like a green apple taste to it, no? Yeah. So Maybe that's coming from the sourness of the lime. It's got a refreshing crunch to it. Very. No? Oh, it's very refreshing. Juicy and crispy. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. With the added health benefits and medicinal. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm sure there's loads of fiber in this. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Great. Oh yeah, I love that. That's actually not salt, that's sugar that I think he sprinkled on top of it, right? What a just cool. Thanks to you, I got to taste something new. Yeah. In Bengaluru. The speciality of this food street, Mark, is that it's only vegetarian. Okay. So that's Chetan and Swati. All right. So we're going to basically taste the Avre Pele Dose, which is basically a dose made with the hyacinth bean and nice. also the Avre Pele Akki Roti, awesome. which is a hyacinth bean with the rice roti. This one is the hyacinth bean? Yeah, this is the hyacinth okay. bean and this is peeled. Excellent, okay. You have yeah. to soak it overnight uh -huh. and then they peel it through the fingers. Like oh, okay, great, great. So that's done by the ladies, farmer's family do that.
That is basically the ghee. Okay. That's going on to oh, that's ghee. Yes. <laughs> Was that a dosa song? Yeah, that's a song. That's yes. <laughs> this is a dosa like I've never seen before. Oh, the ghee spray is impressive. <laughs> the ghee squirts are incredible. When he hits Letting it with that, yeah. he's also making holes in that. that punctures, allow, yeah. punctures it, yeah. So allowing for that steam to escape, therefore allowing for it to cook crispily. Ah, okay, Otherwise okay. it will get a little soggy. Okay. So he wants even the underside to be cooked to a crisp. That's the plate right there. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to tuck oh. into the Avre Bele Dose? I cannot wait. This is something truly magnificent, magical. All the different toppings. Ah. All the ghee. I think part of that was specially for you, Mark. <laughs> we got the extra ghee squeeze. <laughs> Oh, the herbs in there. The parsley, the dill, the sweetness of those hyacinth beans. Yeah. All wrapped up in the batter, the richness of the ghee. I mean, there's of course a lot of ghee that you're tasting, all that clarified butter. You know, what's also nice is the flavor that the onions bring to it. So part of the onion has roasted to a crisp and therefore it's near caramelized. And there's the other onion which is still moist, a little yeah. juicy, watery as you crunch into it. And strategically, chef, smashes the top with his hand, and then he flips it over onto the vegetable side. So those vegetables are all able to sear, yeah. giving them that smokiness and char mm. while still being embedded within the batter. I love that herbal combination. Yeah. Oh man. What do you think of the flavor of the hyacinth bean, the avre bele? Delicious. A little bit starchy, kind of similar to almost like a soybean. Yeah. Like a little bit, has a sweetness to it, has a crunch to it, adds that protein, so good. What are the two dips that we have here? This is a sambar that again has some avre bele in it. So that's what you will see. Oh. And some button onions. <laughs> so to make things better, a dip in the sambar. That's right. Mm. 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 Oh wow, yeah. That like rounds out the flavor, gives it some body and some depth, a little more juices. It makes your mouth just juice with those flavors. And maybe now, just so that we reset our palate before we go back to the masala, mm -hmm. avre bele dose, we we'll probably dip go into in the, the chutney. All oh, oh right, the chutney. And it is a coconut chutney? So it's a combination. There'll be some coconut, there's also some the chickpea lentils. Mm. Mm. The coconut, the coriander or the mustard seed. Also, there's plenty of dill too. Yeah, that's what's like bringing out the flavor. <laughs> it's so good. We have the next. The masala one. The masala one, okay. The puri, the puri. Yes. The gunpowder. Yeah. Okay, what is the gunpowder? Powder, which is a masala, which is made out of chickpeas and other spices. Oh, okay. So usually it is uh, added to the dosa here. Okay. Basically, it gives it more spice. If you like things spicy. Okay, so the gunpowder, they call it. So it's a masala with chickpea flour on the inside. You can see that redness. So the lentils are the base, and the lentils basically help, especially in things like uh, sambar or a chutney, is to be as the base that embraces the other flavors, yes. the other spices. Yes. For me to watch the food legends, uh -oh. taste my mom's food. <laughs> so it's all very good for me. Are these family recipes? Yes. Oh, wow. So her mom began 
making a lot of these avre bele delicacies because about 25 years ago where they would live and that's where our mom would cook all these things there would be these avre bele farmers who would come people who would sell this avre kai they'd peel it and in the evening when they'd go home the peeled one if nobody bought or if it was left it would go waste it's perishable it's perishable you can't take it to the next day so their mother told them saying you know give it to me i'll make something of it and that's how it began and today wow. they also run a huge fair in the month of uh, december january, january mm. in bengaluru which attracts thousands of people where they have about 100 dishes that are made of the avre bele wow so right wow. from sweets to mixtures to things like the dosa or the vade you will have with the avre bele the best wow. one what he liked this time was the avre bele ice cream oh nice ah. so, okay ice cream out of the beans oh nice So this is the original, the original place to get it. Yeah, it's so good. This is the place that made the avre bele popular. It's like one upping on the the dosa. So refreshing and yet so hearty at the same time. Yeah. I think. You know, it's also the depth of textures, Mark. I mean, look at this. It's almost crispened to a stiff sort of a texture, and on the underside, it's rather fluffy, translucent bits of the onion holding on to it. That's what makes something like a yeah. dosa interesting. The batter is simple. what goes into it simple but it's a technique that brings it together there's a mm -hmm. lot of showmanship mm -hmm. but underlying that showmanship is a certain craft that's perfected over time oh yeah he makes it look easy but it's taken him years to perfect that he could do it with his eyes closed yeah he's a yeah he's a master he's mm. mastered the dosa with the highest in beans This is like chef's table. It is straight up chef's table. As raw as it gets. Uh-huh. What an absolute treat. So it's basically like a rice roti but with the avre bele. So that is okay. what you see him making there. It's a mixture of rice flour with the high synth beans inside with, of it. Yeah. Hot and fresh off the griddle. Hot and fresh off the griddle. Look and at that texture. You can see the light. You can see through it. Yes, it reveals everything that's <laughs> there within it, from the flecks of dill to the lightly green tinged it's avre like, bele. It's like pressed into history. That's right. Fossilized into history. Oh, it's so crispy. So this is going to be a very different texture as opposed to the dosa. Mm, mm. All right. Go for it. Mm-hmm. It's denser, but crispier. Oh, and that same herbal goodness. And you also taste the cumin in there. Yeah, it's the cumin seed, right? Yeah, it's very prominent. Also, the other thing is, as opposed to the avre bele dosa, this one is a little more lighter in the manner that it soaks up the fat. I mean, there is some oil that goes into it, but it's not held on to it, so it's it feels rather light, rather healthier. Yeah. When you eat yeah, it's it too. Yeah. Yeah, it's lighter. Yeah. Dip in the chutney. Mm hmm. Got such a play on textures. It's ultra crispy on the edges. Yeah. And just slightly gooey and dense in the center. This feels more ruddy, more spotted. It almost feels like a working man's. Yeah. No. Like it's it's rustic and hearty. Yeah. Mm. Between the two, between the dosa and the akki roti, what's your um difficult to pick but if you have to, to pick, pick the dosa is hard to beat for me. Ah. I think that spongy texture that absorbs it all. I think that one wins for me. And especially layered with tuppa, streams of tuppa. Yeah. Mm. And they eat differently. Mm. It's totally different texture in your mouth. Dil ek gas gas hai dekha. Thank you. Also, the other thing that goes into it, which you can also taste a bit in that avre bele saru, is the poppy seed. If oh. you notice, there's a bit of that nutty sort of an aroma yeah. flavor that you get. So that's from the from poppy, poppy seed seeds. that goes into it to thicken yeah. it. Nice. Okay. Oh, poppy seeds. Excellent. And so, what do we have next? So this is the ragi roti. 
Similar concept, but made with a millet, with a finger millet. Nice, okay. This again incorporates the avre bele, but uh, it's with the ragi. Excellent. Go for it. That color, it looks like a chocolate cake. I think I have to dip in that, even though I should probably taste it first. That sambar is calling my name. Mmm. Mmm. It's another dimension. It's really good. It kind of has that whole grain, grainy flavor to yeah. it. The character of ragi is that it gives everything a very earthy sort of a flavor. Mm -hmm. So for example, the mix that goes into this and that is the same. But if you notice, you could taste a lot more in the rice. You know, you could taste the cumin, you could taste some of the coriander, some of the mint. Whereas here, it's the earthiness of the ragi, of the millet that overpowers it all. Yeah. But what happens is as your palate then gets used to the flavor of the millet, then you start registering the nuances of the ingredients that have gone into it. For sure, for sure, yeah. You can tell that green has a much more pronounced flavor than the rice. It's not neutral like the rice. It has this yeah. really like, almost like a rye flavor to it yeah. that has this depth of flavor, this complexity. Delicious though. And it, it feels more heavy. You can feel it like coming into your stomach. You know it's gonna be a slow digest. The complexity, the complex carbs in that finger millet. In fact, ragi is typically consumed by farmers. So in the middle of their working day, they will eat... Full of energy. Yeah. And it's also a slow release energy. Now, as I'm coming to the close of that oh. bite, the ragi roti is gone, but at the back of my palate, I can now taste some of the dill. Yes. You yes. Know? Yes. You don't and even, even the green chili, right? Yeah. The green chili in there A bit too? of the spice that yes. comes from there. Oh, oh delicious. Yes, fabulous. Fantastic. Fabulous. I loved it. What a just unique combination of ingredients. Thank you guys. It's an honor to be here. It's a pleasure meeting you guys. And your family legacy as well to try these delicacies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You can hear every floret of that cauliflower make contact with the vessel. That's how crispy and crunchy that cauliflower has been fried. We got to eat it fast, right out of the wok. Mm. Oh, wow. Yes, and they're starting to transform into this golden ball. Yeah. And the aroma of the green chili and green uh, bell pepper is coming out. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!